Yud is get you a boy I'm back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be going over and talking about the pink diamond Michael Beasley an NBA 2K24 my team that is available via the pack market for 24 hours now a lot of people are asking me, Ty, is it worth it? Is it not worth it? And I, 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 here's what I want to tell you guys, okay? Um, Michael Beasley, when I ranked my top 100 cards, came in at number 12. And so when you like zoom out from the whole picture, you're getting non-gambling cards, a top 15 card in the game in Michael Beasley. Now, there's some pros to it, some good things, and there's some cons, some bad things to what this Michael Beasley has. And I want to talk about them all. The first thing I want to say is, 99,000 MT. It's pretty accessible. It's it's pretty accessible. It's basically what ten dollars for bees. Uh, and and obviously for me, I've got 600k on my no money spent. I've got 1.8 on this account. Like I've got a lot of MT. So that's the first thing I want to say. Second thing I want to say is Michael Beasley was never in the player market. So you can go in here to wherever you want, and bees was never viable directly via the player mark and so that i didn't necessarily love the fact that bees was never uh buyable with the player market i actually hated it but the fact of the matter is if you were never able to get michael beasley or if you didn't let's say buy him direct i think directly you were able to buy him for uh 35 000 vc right when the card came out but mt wise there was really no way to get it okay and so now there is and and again i get it bees came out what a month ago uh, a little over maybe at this stage uh and, but he is still one of the top small forwards in the entire game problem is he's unsellable that's the one thing i don't like about michael beasley is he is unsellable so like for me and my account i've got galaxy o'brown i've got galaxy o'brown james Ruth. there's no need for me to have michael beasley but let's say you're running like some really budget guys so let's say you're small forward and again this is no slight of anybody but let's say your small forwards are like ak and then your small forwards are like mpj then it might be worth you guys to spend 100,000 MT on Michael Beasley. He's got the Terrence Mann base on a quick. He's 6'9". He plays a lot of defense for you guys on the court. And so I think for certain people, it is worth getting Michael Beasley. Now, if you think it is worth getting Michael Beasley for you, which a lot of people I think it probably is, one thing I would encourage you guys to wait on is wait to see what we get in leaks. Because if we get, let's say, cards in the player market coming tomorrow then it might end up being like a waste of your MT. Like, let's say Galaxy Opals are in the player market come tomorrow, then yes, Bees might not be worth as much as he is today. So wait until, uh, obviously, leaks come out normally at, uh, what is it, 1 Eastern time, 2 Eastern time. Wait until we see what those are before buying Michael Beasley. But 99,000 MT really is not that much. I mean, you grind a little My Team Unlimited, you can uh, basically get there. I mean, I'm just being honest. If you get to this Diamond Player Pack, you can get to... Uh, to the price of Michael Beasley. And I think he's just as good, if not better, than Michael Porter Jr. And so I know a lot of people are going to be mad he's unauctionable. A lot of people are mad that it is, it is like recycled content. And I get it. But he is available directly via uh, for MT. And, um, and it, it, to me, it's not bad. A lot of people are like, oh, no, it's not. He was VC before, but now he's MT. Okay, yeah, but what you guys fail to understand is, yes, he was available for basically, what, $10 VC-wise, maybe a little more. Um, when he first came out, now he's MT for basically the same price. But a lot of people grind MT. A lot of people have a bunch of MT to work with, whereas VC, they really don't. And so, in my opinion, that's the big difference here. Like, again, if, if you've got the best team in the game, Bs is not worth it. But if you've been grinding your MT, and let's say you have a million MT and your team still is not great and tomorrow is another day of just gambling, Bees is probably worth it, guys. I use Bees on this account for so long and I have absolutely really loved the card. His release is fantastic. Defensively solid because he's 6'9". And so, look, I, I'm, I'm telling you, is this perfect? No. But I'm going to be honest. Bees is better than LeBron James, okay? So everybody's going, to, and I'm not saying like this, uh, I'd take this, everybody you get, including Shangun over Michael Beasley, but I'm saying your ultimate domination reward in which you have to grind 17 hours for is worse than Michael Beasley, who is 100,000 MT. And on that same train of thought, if you have 100,000 MT, Franz Wagner's close, but it, it, it might be on the same similar level. But for 100,000 MT, name another small forward that you guys can pick up that's gonna be as good. Like, there's just not. And and so that's the other side of it is for 100,000 MT, you're just not beating that. I, 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 it's just the way it is right now. You're not beating that. 
empty wise for where we're at in my team. So again, it's not a one size fits all. Not everybody should go in here to the pack market and buy Michael Beeson. They shouldn't. Like if you have a really good team, you should not buy Michael Beeson. But like for me and my nobody spent squad series, it's kind of a no brainer to pick up Michael Beeson because player market wise, again, non-gambling wise, Name a player that can give me as much as Michael Beasley at that small forward position. You just can't. You, 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 again, you, you're just going to really struggle to do that. So I actually don't mind it. Like, again, we knew we were going to get this. Like, this is the same thing we've seen in the past. We knew we were going to get a card with MT. It was a matter of who it's going to be. Obviously, I don't think this Hall of Fame badge pack is worth it. I'd never recommend that. But the way I think about it is I'd rather have Michael Beasley than opening up this promo pack too because you're guaranteed one of the better small forwards in the entire game and you're not having to gamble on it. You don't. And 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 that's important, right? You can grind a set, a set amount of the game. And for me, I've grinded a ton. So yes, I have a lot of MT just sitting here waiting to be redeemed, waiting for that type of stuff. But you can grind a set amount and get your way to Michael Beasley. I like that, especially when all these Galaxy Opals are out and Michael Beasley is a card that can compete at the highest level. You're talking about one of the best releases, if not the best release in the entire game. Michael Beasley has it. So I know there's going to be a lot of hate. Oh my gosh, it's just recycled. Oh my gosh, he was already in the pack market for VC. Now he's just empty. You guys got to look at it at a different approach, right? Look at it on my No Money Spent Squad series, right? Where I have a, a lot of MT and just haven't been able to spend it. Now I got a solid small forward where instead of having to play let's say Peyton Watson or Pink Diamond AK now I can play Pink Diamond Michael Beasley which is going to help me compete at that highest level sure I'm gonna get James Worthy but even if I get James Worthy and some more small forwards I can always move Worthy to that four and and go from there so again if you are no money spent if you really are starting the game out and let's say even you have like 250,000 MT but your team's not great yet Michael Beasley is a card that you can pick up that can compete until the, I'm going to be honest, until the end of the game. He can't because he's solid enough defense, but he has a great release. Badge-wise, he's complete. Is he going to be the best small forward for the next four or five months? No, but I'm telling you, he's going to be a guy that can absolutely compete. So again, it's not a one-size-fits-all. It never is with these type of things. If you think Michael Beasley is going to be the best small forward on your team and you have, let's say, anywhere from 200,000 MT to a million MT, I would get him. Now, if you just worked your way towards 100,000 MT and your team is very bad then obviously you probably need to be a little more selective with where you're spending your MT because remember Michael Beasley is going to be unsellable you're never going to be able to sell him never going to be able to make that MT back and so again that is the tougher side of, of it is the fact that he is unsellable again certain people should pick up Michael Beasley certain people shouldn't it just isn't a one-size-fits-all type of thing but for 99,000 MT I gotta say I think it is tough to beat what Michael Beasley can do for you guys on the court do I think I'd rather have Michael Beasley right now or Franz Wagner? That's a tough question. I think Beasley at the three is probably better than Wagner at the three. But again, Wagner, you can buy and resell. So again, those are the types of things you need to weigh yourself. Like pros, cons of all of those types of things. For me, I've used Beasley for quite a while. And I actually, you know, really do love the card. I mean, not on this last top 100, but on the top 100 before. I think he was overall my number one player in the entire game. So just know how much I value Michael Beasley. I think the card is fantastic, but it is not a one-size-fits-all. So really think about it. Gather information. Don't do anything until the leak comes out. Because again, if we get cards in the player market tomorrow, obviously I'd be very less uh, incentivized to go and get Bs and just see what those cards come like tomorrow. That's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. I personally like the fact that they put Bs in the uh, in the player market for MT because, again, a lot of people weren't able to get him because he was behind the VC and gambling paywall. Let me know your thoughts on Bs down below in the comments. At the end of the day, a solid card you can get for a set price of MT. I'll take it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new and as always, man. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.